Hello everybody, welcome back to Jeff's Computer Service on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to install Arch Linux on VirtualBox. For those that do not know, VirtualBox is a free open source software that you can use to install virtual machines in this case. I'm going to be leaving the, on the description the download links to get the ISO and the software. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up your virtual box. From here, we're going to make a new machine. New. We're going to give it a name. Arc Linux Test. I'll leave it like that. I'm going to select the ISO. I'm going to just browse for it. In my case, it's on the desktop. So click desktop. You can see mine is all the way down. Here it is, Arc Linux. Open that up. It should have detected already automatically. Let's click on Next. Supposedly recommended uh, memory and processor is 1 and 500 megabytes. So for the demonstration, I must just leave it at 5 or 6. Don't really need that much. I must just leave it there so I have the recommendation requirements for it. Let's just click on next. I'm gonna make a new drive. I'm gonna give it 88 gigs for for the purpose of the demonstration. Click on next. Here's a summary of everything that we did so far. You click finish. And there's the machine has been made. Now let's boot it up. Start it. We're going to give that a few seconds. We should now be booting up to the ISO of the installation machine. Okay, I can see that it booted up. There it is. Now from here, we're going to click the first one. Our Linux install median x86 underscore 64 BIOS. We're just going to click next. We're going to wait for this to load up. And I'm going to be leaving on the description some commands to make this process easier and we can get started the whole point of me making this is so we can try to make it simplified so it's not difficult for anybody to install okay we're here in the ISO setup page so from the installation guide you're supposed to already have this connected to internet. In my case, I already have my virtual box connected to internet. If you don't know how to do that, you can just go to machine, go to settings. And from here, you pick network. And from here, you're going to attach your network as a bridge adapter, which would be the best thing to do. And here you're going to select your, your network adapter. In my case, it's this one. But I'm not gonna do this this part. This would you would only need to do this part if you don't have internet connection. So the best way to check if you do have connection is by pinning uh, Google.com. For the example here, just ping Google.com, and if you do get a reply, then it has internet. Okay, we have a reply. Perfect. Control C to cancel that. Okay. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do here now is basically going to type in the first command, pacman slash capital S, Y. This is to check if we have any packages that need updating. OK, it looks like we don't have anything to update. Now, from here, we're going to check or this which would be like that b l s b l k now we should see our 88 gig there here it is s t a 88 gigs perfect now we're gonna format that this so we're gonna do g this space slash dev slash sda 
going to click on enter on that. And now we're going to click on X to get like advanced settings. Now click C to begin the process to wipe it out. You're going to click yes to proceed. Yes again. And there we have it. Now we're going to attach a key string for the Oracle Linux. So Pac-Man space capital S Y space Arc Linux hash keyling enter. And now you can click on yes. Now we just need to for this to finish. Okay, it's done. Now proceed to the next one. Pack man S capital S Y Arc install. Click on yes. There it's done. Now the next command pack man. Line capital S Y arc install. You click yes, and there that's done. Now, the last command that should bring us up to the setup arc install. And there we have it. Now, from here, we're going to pick our language everything that you need to set up everything else can be left default so from here language is going to be english you just click on enter and you can move it with your arrow keys here english default locals this would be the local keyboard just leave it in the us so i'm going to just keep the default back loader grub hostname if you want to change uh what the the computer wants to be called, we can leave that default or change it to your preference. But in my case, I must just leave it like that. Now you need to set up a root password for this. So just type in the password. You're not gonna see anything be typed due to security measures. So you are actually typing. So once you click enter and you already type the password, in my case, this, this is very weak, but that's okay. This is just for an, a, a demonstration explanation in my case. So I put again the password to confirm it. You're not, you're actually typing, but nothing's being drawn. That's fine. So just click enter again to confirm it. Now we have a password. Now you're going to make yourself a user account. If you don't make a user account, you're not going to be able to log in. Now I'm going to add a user here. So we're going to put in my name for the username. Perfect. Now I'm going to type in the password. Now you're going to type it again to confirm it. And do you want this user to use sudo? Yes, we do. And there we have it. Now we can just confirm and exit from here. Now the audio, supposedly. Pipewire is the best one to use for the audio server. I'm not really sure on that, but that's, that's what I'm going to use. Additional packages, if you want to install anything additional, you can do it from here. In my case, I'm not going to do anything, so I'm going to just leave it blank. So let's just enter again to get out of here. Now, from here, we forgot a few things. Now, network configuration. You're going to use, use Network Manager and FTP. You can leave that. At, OK, now we're going to do the last part, which would be profile. Here we want to pick a type so we can have to really have a GUI. So you're gonna, in your case, you're going to pick desktop. And for the UI, you're going to pick KDE Plasma. For a graphics driver, if you are if you want to use a graphic driver in this case, 
In my case, this is going to be for testing, so we can actually just pick the virtual bus graphic driver or VMware, as you can see there. If you have NVIDIA, choose NVIDIA. AMD, choose AMD. Intel, choose Intel. My case would be virtual bus. Everything else, you can leave it default. You don't have to touch anything else here. Now we have everything else set up, the profile set up, the bootloader, this configuration. You can actually leave this all default or just change some stuff. In my case, to just keep it simple, this configuration, go to partitioning, use the best effort default partition layout. Now in your case, you're gonna pick your drive. In my case, is the 94 gig, the virtual hard disk that I made. So just enter, click that one, and you're gonna pick the first option. And you're gonna use uh, compression for this. You can keep, just keep keep this default. So yes, use compression. And there you have it. That's all set up. Go back. Now you have everything set up here. The encryption, that's really if you want, I'm not gonna actually do that. It's mostly optional. Got the this encryption, this configuration, bootloader, swap, host name, root, user, profile, audio, additional packages, and if you want to mess anything else, even if you want to add some additional repositories, it's up to you. Now from here, you don't need to save the configuration. You can just click install and press enter. And now it's going to start in three, two, one. Now we're just going to wait for that to finish. This might take a few minutes or more, depending on how fast everything goes. I'm going to go ahead and, and stop it right here and fast forward this part. I'll see you guys in a bit once this part is done. Okay, guys, we're almost done here. This is almost halfway. I'm going to still keep waiting for this. I'll see you guys in a bit again in a bit. I'm going to fast forward here. Okay, guys, and there we have it. The installation is completed here. If you want to install something else, you can just type in here yes or no to skip or press escape as well. In my case, I'm going to click no. So I'm leave with the console. So what I'm gonna do here now is basically just gonna turn this off. Okay, that's off. I'm gonna close this out. Open back the manager. I think I have a few open for some reason. Let's just close all these out. Just open it again. Okay, there we have it. Now I'll go to settings and I'll take up the ISO. Remove it. Yes, remove. Okay. Now we should already have here the Arc Linux uh, boot to load up for the first time. There we have it. Now cancel that. Click on enter, the first one. And we should be greeted with the bootloader in a few seconds. Wait that to finish. And there we have it. There's the user that you made. Let's go ahead and log in with our password. Give that a few seconds. You can see it's installed the plasma by KDE. And there we go. We have successfully installed Arc Linux and running on the KDE Plasma. You can skip this, look it around, see what you want to change, anything that you guys want. And click on next from this, finish. And there you have it, guys. You have successfully installed Arc Linux on a virtual box. Just so you guys know, this same process can also be done 
if you're going to be doing this process on a f physical machine. Exactly the same way, it's just, it's just less step compared to a virtual machine. So oh, guys, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys found this very easy to, to follow the step-by-step -step videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. As always, guys, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.